Hi, welcome to the part 26 of this video series. We are looking at real certification questions for AZ900. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. This playlist and there is one more playlist which is an old one but the questions are still relevant. Together, these two playlists will help you clear AZ900 certification 100% with flying colors. Now let's jump into the questions. This is the first one. Here we are asking about is you know you have an internet okay users on the internet they want to access a server which is on a virtual network okay now in azure firewall which service out of these should be used okay the answer is nat network address translation rules see the nat rules when it is used around the vpn gateway it is used it is used to interconnect two ip networks that have incompatible or overlapping ip addresses that is in our case between internet and virtual network this is idle hence the answer here is not see service tax is used to tag the resources so that in the bills we can easily identify which resource has consumed what amount of bill we will lock this answer and move forward Let's jump into the second one. This is a question on Sentinel. They are asking why do we use playbooks? You must have gone through the similar question in the previous part. It was flipped. Okay. In here, we are telling playbooks. See, whenever you see playbook thumb rule, it is automatically used to respond to threats. That is the main purpose of Sentinel. In this documentation, we see you we use playbooks with automation rules in Microsoft Sentinel. And these playbooks are used to create automation rules which will help you triage incidents using sentinel so this is the right answer let's look at 133 here they are talking about which resources should be used as a source for network security group you see there is no logic to us the answer here is b there is no logic this is the way the screens have been designed in azure and this is how we have to use it so this is the answer we'll, we will lock this and move forward so in this question we have a vm and remember with the vm there is always a disk storage that is a block disk and what it is saying is you plan to encrypt this disk what should you create first which resource you should create first see the first thing you have to do is key vault whenever you see encryption the first thing you remember is key vault because key vault stores encryption keys it stores cryptographic keys and other secrets like passwords it also stores certificates which are used for encryption in transit so encryption key is the second thing the first thing is you have to create a house where you can keep the encryption key that house is the key vault information protection policy is a policy which is used to create on s3 bucket so that it can easily identify which are the documents which are storing sensitive information so that we can protect the documents and emails that is the purpose so let's lock this answer and move forward in this question we will have to map see the first thing remember is outside we have to map these three layers the outside one is always physical security but the security guards are there to secure it the middle layer is the perimeter one here we apply ddos so that any hacks cannot happen inside or any penetration or SQL injection cannot happen and here is the application layer because it is inside the compute your application resides along with the data so this is the answer we lock this this is the last question of this part please subscribe to my channel and click the like button if you have gone through this playlist on easy 900 and there is one more playlist which has some old questions those are still relevant those questions are still relevant Together, along with these two playlists, you will for sure pass the AZ-900 certification exam. That brings us to the end of this part. Stay tuned for more parts.